We bought land in Glenroy and dug the foundations. We made trips from Bonegilla until we could move into the house. We came from Graz in 1950. I was seven months pregnant. My husband was Ukrainian and could not go back to his home, therefore we had to leave. We arrived on St. Nicholas Day, from winter to summer. Everything was completely different. Dead ghost trees were everywhere. White grass and strange greens we had never seen and blue mountains. It all looked infertile. The eucalyptus trees seemed weird and gave no shade. Here, hot winds came from the north and cold winds from the south. Even the water ran off in the opposite direction. Australians hated it when we didn't speak English because they thought we were talking about them. For 10 years we lived, worked and had our three children in migrant camps. And there were weddings, christenings, birthdays and Christmas celebrations. I taught migrants for six years in Bonegilla. To teach, we acted out situations and used pictures. I set up choirs and encouraged my classes to sing their own folk songs, and they often cried. Although my husband did a doctor's work in camp hospitals, he was only paid as a senior medical orderly. His medical qualifications were not recognized. When migrant numbers fell, he had to work as a boiler man. He became dehydrated, thin, and had his first heart attack. Three times he sat the medical exams, but quotas for overseas doctors were controlled, and he was never accepted. He felt humiliated and deeply hurt, which aggravated his heart condition. In 1962, a second heart attack killed him. Ten years after arriving in Australia, I started teaching at Oak Park High School. That's when I first felt truly at home. I was there for 23 years. I still live in the house Julian built. I sing the folk songs of my youth in the Austrian choir and with my grandchildren. <laughs> ¶¶